Good evening, welcome, a warm welcome to this 15th anniversary celebration um, at the offices of Phillips Ormond Fitzpatrick. You can come a bit closer, I don't know if you stand at the back and a bit closer, I just, I can't see that far, that's better, thank you. Uh, my name's Luanda Smahill, I'm your host this evening um, and I'm really delighted to see so many of you here. It's, it's really wonderful and uh, touching, thank you. Uh, this evening marks a celebration of an idea that has evolved into a powerful collaborative effort serving an important and significant community. The ancient Greeks have bestowed countless gifts upon Western civilization. Philosophy, politics, science, medicine, and the invention of theatre. However, there's one gift that often goes unrecognised, synomilia. Synomilia, Greek for holding a conversation a dialogue signifies the primary mission of the Convergence Science Network, fostering conversations that bring scientists and public together to share the latest knowledge and be inspired by incredible advancements in biomedical sciences. And in fact, if you look close enough, you'll see me on the right there. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, taking notes of the refreshments and the quality of the audio. From our humble beginnings in October 2008, we recognised the necessity of breaking down silos within the scientific community. We sought to unite experts from the biological sciences, engineering and computing to advance biomedical sciences through networking and sharing knowledge and fostering collaboration to support Melbourne's significant intellectual capital in this field. Uh, our journey has been marked by significant progress and incredible cooperation. The network does not advocate for individuals or institutions, nor do we compete for grant funding. Our mission is to share knowledge and ideas on topics and issues of general interest to a wide ranging public, making it possible to attract supporters from diverse fields or specialities. Uh, and in essence, we're a public service in the truest sense, promoting science communication in the interest of the public good a fact that fills me with immense satisfaction and pride. Fast forward to today, and the snapshot of our 15-year journey reveals, I think, remarkable achievements. It's been an incredible collaborative effort between the scientific community, the public, and institutions devoted to supporting science communication that makes the Convergence Science Network distinctive. We've also embraced innovation, taking calculated risks to evolve. We transition from merely hosting public events to creating the opening the vault series, responding to the public's desire to visit scientists' workplaces. We've held tribute dinners for leading scientists. The Women in Biomedicine series has highlighted the brilliant work of women in the field. We've profiled distinguished scientists to young researchers, and we will soon launch the Next Gen Biomed podcast series to showcase the next generation of the sector leaders from academia, research, business and elsewhere. The Graham Clark Oration has grown beyond a lecture and dinner to a multifaceted event that has a science festival feel to it, including presentations to secondary science students, the Women in STEM lunch, breakfast with the orator and the popular biomedical innovation showcase. We took a significant financial risk by inviting Dr Jennifer Doudner to deliver her first public address in Australia. And it paid off immensely, making her event in March 2018 our largest network event ever, with over 1,700 attendees. One of our most cherished endeavours, of course, is the Graham Clark Oration, which brings global leaders in biomedicine to Melbourne. It reflects the trust any institutions place in our concept for the event, and I think without doubt it's become Australia's most prestigious free public science event. I hope to announce details of the next oration in the first half of 2024. A very satisfying outcome has been engaging with enthusiastic and talented secondary school students. It started with the 2012 Graham Clark Oration 
and has since grown to encompass convergent science network events and the recent SuperBio series in collaboration with Monash Tech School, inspiring the next generation of biologists. Here's a sample of the impact of our engagement with students. It kind of tells you there's really no limitations to what you can achieve. Yeah, with a lot of determination you can achieve many things and we were really inspired by what he taught us today. There's a lot of encouragement, like coming from someone so special and he's telling us that yes, you can do it, so that's kind of encouraging. I thought it was really great to hear that it's okay to like more than just one field of science, so yeah. It was like sitting through a thriller movie, so you really didn't know what was coming next, but at the same time you really couldn't wait to see what would pull up next. He is one of the most inspirational people I know. Like, he's probably my new idol. <laughs> <laughs> we have two former Graham Clark Oration Youth Ambassadors here with us, and I'd like to invite Betty Zhang and Ruby Wheelark on to, uh, to say a few words to you. Betty? Um, hi everyone, I'm Betty and I was so delighted that Luan asked me to um, say a few words and celebrate um, the Convergence Science Network's 15th anniversary. So uh, my story with the Convergence Science Network began at the end of, near the end of 2017 with the um, Graham Clark oration um, that was delivered by Professor Harold Varmus and that was sort of the first time where I was able to witness a scale of what Luan was able to achieve in terms of bringing such an amazing internationally renowned Nobel laureate um, to Melbourne, but also amassing and gathering um, such a big audience of people as well who was able to sort of share in um, the love of science and appreciation for impact. And then it was really exciting to attend the um, March 2018 event with Jennifer Downer and Kevin Esfel. And uh, not only was I able to meet some tremendous scientists, but I was also uh, really fortunate to connect with some other school students. So I was in year 12 at the time, and from that we were actually able to spin off the Victorian Student Science Squad. And so we can definitely thank Luan for bringing together a group of students from different schools who were um, joined by a shared passion for science and science communication. Um, becoming the ambassador for the Graham Clark Creation was a very surprising honour and I was, I was actually um, absolutely delightful to um, have the opportunity to represent students and to connect with um, Professor Paula Hammond and actually my co-ambassador Senna, I'm still in touch with him today and um, he's been studying um, engineering at University of Melbourne as well where I eventually decided to study um, a Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology. Um, it was my first year when it was a Graham Clark oration yet again where I managed to bring um, more friends and university friends to uh, watch Professor Tim Dennison speak and actually Poe, who was one of my best friends at the time, was so inspired that he decided to um, undertake an honours degree in brain computer interfaces and uh, listening to Tim's speech inspired him to embark on this um, really tremendous exploration in this field of research and um, his project in brain computer interfaces um, became one of the foundational projects to a non-profit that we would launch in 2020 called the Melbourne by Innovation Student Initiative, um, from which we've been able to support over nine student-led projects in health technologies, medical devices and biotechnology. And we've had the opportunity to work with high school students through the Biotech Features Program and also our Biodesign uh, competition where um, Philip Sorman Fitzpatrick has been a foundational partner and also thanks to Luan through um, Pop's amazing um, partnership with Convergent Science Network where um, sort of this was the place that immediately came to mind when we wanted uh, more university innovators to learn more about IP law. So as you can see, the last sort of five years have, and of my career have been really well defined by uh, moments um, with the Convergent Science Network um, and also to many of the individuals here in this room today. Um, I think the CSN has always brought together some of the brightest minds in science, both nationally and internationally, 
whilst uplifting some amazing young talents at the same time and celebrating um, voices that are often underrepresented in the usual um, style of sort of scientific events and really bring them to the public's attention. So um, with this, congratulations, Swan, for um, many more events to come. I hope to be here for the 20th birthday uh, for the Convergence Science Network. And um, thank you so much for all being here and supporting this journey. I hope that, I mean, this is just, um, I'm just one person who's been impacted um, by the amazing work of the Convergence Science Network. And I'm sure there's many, many more people like me um, who is, yeah, going to be benefiting from the mission of this amazing organisation. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ruby. I'm quite new here. I was the 2022 Graham Clark um, Oration Youth Ambassador. So I first met Luan last year and I applied to this program kind of on a whim. I didn't think anything of it. Um, Senna was actually from my school and it was amazing to see how much of an impact the Convergent Science Network had actually had on my school. Um, it was spoken about a lot and it was actually one of the main things people talked about when they talked about STEM like opportunities within our school, um, which was quite surprising because we'd come from a school where it was very arts and health focused. Um, so to actually see them move into an engineering space and to combine biomedicine, it was quite interesting. Um, I was the um, ambassador for the year of Dr. Natalia Tranova, so a biomedical engineer. So she actually inspired me to choose biomedical engineering. So I had been quite interested in it beforehand, um, but it was from her speech that I actually decided, yes, this is the path I want to take. Um, so I'm currently at the University of Melbourne studying my first year of biomedical engineering, but I don't know that I would have been there without this experience and hearing other people speak and the connections I made through the Convergent Science Network. So I thought that was quite interesting. Um, I think the opportunities they give high school students and people of all ages really is quite phenomenal because you don't realise how much of an impact one event can have on someone's life. Um, yeah, I would just like to say thank you to Luan and I hope you keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Ruby. Thanks, Betty, for those comments. The ultimate measure of our success remains the feedback from our attendees. And I've only posted a very small number there. I've got a, a summary of feedback from 2014. And if anyone would like to see the full list, please let me know and I'll send it to you. <laughs> um, but the surveys show a high level of satisfaction. I think it speaks volumes about the quality of the presentations and providing a lay audience with a, a window into the specialised work of scientists um, who share their objectives and passion for a healthier population. This is a strong reminder to us that the public is most interested in the outcomes from biomedical research. They expect public funds in support of research to be well spent and are concerned about the health and well-being of their loved ones. Informed people make better decisions. It's a privilege for the Convergent Science Network and the Graham Clark Oration to serve this public need. Uh, I must also express my sincere gratitude to many individuals who have contributed to our success over 15 years. Laureate Professor Rob Evans of the University of Melbourne and the then Director of the Victoria Research Laboratory of NICTA has been instrumental in providing resources and encouragement to me personally. Without his support, there would be no Convergence Science Network and no Graham Clark Oration. So I have a huge debt of gratitude to Professor Rob Evans. Professor Clark graciously agreed to lend his name to our annual oration. Professor Suzanne Khoury has been the, is the inaugural patron of the network. Vlad Bunyevich and Michael Silva here and Livian Tolfato have been invaluable in recording and capturing events and maintaining our web presence. And Michael and Vlad were both at our first event in 2008. And Katriona Wynne Robertson has made a significant contribution to her clear reporting and hosting our events. Thank you, Katriona, for your amazing science communication. Thank you. 
looking ahead, our ability to work collaboratively and deliver value to the public reaffirms the network, the need for the network to continue its service. The convergence of diverse scientific fields is now more crucial than ever, especially given the rapid advancements in biomedical sciences. In an era where the, there is declining trust in the mainstream media, it's even more important for scientists to clearly communicate with the public. It's our responsibility to combat misinformation and maintain the public's trust in the sector. Thank you all for being part of this incredible journey. Together we will continue to promote the spirit of Sinomilia, bridging the gap between science and the public and advancing biomedical sciences for a healthier and more informed society. Together we've made significant impact on our journey uh, and our journey is far from over. Here's to the Convergence Science Network's bright and impactful future. I want to thank Ross and his team for making this venue uh, available for this evening. Thank you, Ross. Um, and also there's another a significant 15th anniversary, and that is, Ross alluded to, that Philip Sorman Fitzpatrick was a founding sponsor of the network, an inaugural sponsor, and they remain the only inaugural sponsor. So thank you and congratulations to you and your team for being um, tremendous supporters of the network. Thank you. Ross.